In this video, we'll talk about avoiding the pitfalls of gluten-free. It's not just people with celiac disease that are opting for a gluten-free diet. According to the Mayo Clinic, 72% of people going gluten-free are doing so on the recommendation of a nutritionist or physician. Thankfully, the medical profession is no longer ignoring the fact that new, processed wheat has nothing to offer us in terms of health and well-being and may be doing a variety of harm. But jumping on the gluten-free bandwagon without enough facts can backfire. Unless you take the time to become informed, you are likely to continue feeling not as well as you could. The more you know about gluten, where it is and what it does, the better off you will be. The gluten-free life can be a challenge, and knowledge is your best ally. If your small intestine is damaged, even small mistakes can cause a setback and prevent recovery. One of the major obstacles is that gluten can hide in the most unexpected places. Going gluten-free is not just a matter of abstaining from wheat products. Carefully read labels and ask questions, because gluten may find its way into the following food items. Granola is hyped as a health food, but many of them are made of glutinous oats. Read the label first. Certain types of potato chips have malt, wheat vinegar in them. Meat is gluten-free, but beware of processed meats such as deli meats, hot dogs, salami, and liverwurst as they are processed with grain. Canned soups can contain barley or wheat as a thickening agent. Again, read all labels. Corn tortillas are usually gluten-free, but some add wheat. Check all salad dressings and marinades. Certain vegetarian meats, such as vegetarian burgers, sausage, or bacon, may contain gluten. Some restaurants puff up their scrambled eggs with wheat batter. If in doubt, ask the waiter. In addition to the hidden gluten, another problem with establishing a gluten-free diet is that you may not be getting all of the necessary nutrients. According to a study published in Clinical Nutrition, gluten-free eaters were likely to become deficient in vitamins D and B, zinc, magnesium, folate, iron, and calcium. The deficiency increases if non-glutinous bread, pasta, etc. are substituted for the glutinous versions of these products. While gluten-free products can be helpful and handy, Many of them are processed with added sugars and fats, and they are not fortified with additional vitamins the way white flour foods frequently are. Gluten-free versions of any food won't make you sick, but you should be very careful. Ensuring a nutrient-dense life is not difficult at all. Increase vegetable and fruit servings to five a day and add quinoa and amaranth flour to your diet. The added fruits and vegetables will also provide you with the fiber you need. To ensure that you get all your vitamins and minerals, eat plenty of the following foods. Beans, peas, and legumes are an excellent source of thiamine. Spinach and soybeans provide riboflavin. Avocado, chicken, broccoli, and salmon contain niacin. Greens, spinach, asparagus, broccoli, and lettuce are a source of folate and magnesium. For added iron, eat meat and lentils. Seafood, especially salmon, provides vitamin D. Celiac disease, which can damage the small intestine, can make it difficult for the body to absorb all of the necessary nutrients. Discuss taking a supplement with your doctor or pharmacist. To get all the possible nutrients from the food you eat, increase your intake of raw fruits and vegetables as opposed to cooking them. Choose a wide variety of produce that includes as many colors as possible. Another reason you may not be seeing the hope for progress on your gluten-free diet is that the damage to the small intestine is so severe, even permitted grains, such as rice or corn, may continue to be a problem. Nuts, while gluten-free, are also difficult to digest. If you continue to experience gastrointestinal problems, check with your doctor. 
you may wish to wait until your small intestine has recovered sufficiently before enjoying those food items. Try to abstain from all grains and nuts, even the permitted kinds, until your small intestine is back on track. This may take a while, so be patient. You want the intestine to heal, don't you? In addition, while gluten-free products can be helpful, too many companies are jumping on the gluten-free trend. Many of these products are overprocessed and filled with sugars and fats and may come close to resembling any other processed food item. A better solution is to invest in a few reputable gluten-free cookbooks and prepare your meals from scratch. Traveling gluten-free. You don't want additional drama while traveling, but how are you supposed to control your diet while on the road? Many people on a gluten-free diet unravel their eating habits due to poor planning. As always, preparation is the key to success. If you are driving, it's best to avoid those roadside eateries. Simply pack a cooler with sandwiches on gluten-free bread. For snacks and for the kids, Make sure you have plenty of nuts, cheese, fruits, including dried fruits, and gluten-free crackers. Pack the same foods for flight travel and long waits at the airport. You can purchase most kinds of potato chips safely, exempt malt vinegar flavored, at any airport newsstand. Do some research for any gluten-free restaurants along your travel route. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.